had the distressing experience of witnessing a flagrant and armed intervention in the domestic affairs of the Congolese people. The crisis precipitated by, the, by these unfortunate developments is ominous and the repercussions may well be far-reaching. In situations which are politically intricate, it is important that we should encourage the people concerned to settle their own problems, and that, is, and that if outside assistance is needed, it should be done by an organization which is impartial and whose motives are above question. It is for these reasons that the Somali government has advocated from the beginning that the Congo problem be left to the Congolese people to solve. And because of the special political circumstances prevailing in the country, for outside assistance to be given through the medium of the Organization of African Unity. By these means, we would not only confine the problem to the African continent through an organization of which the Congo is a member state, but we would also prevent the situation from becoming another arena in the Cold War struggle. The Somali government is firmly convinced that the Congo situation can still be saved if all nations at this stage give their unqualified support to the efforts and recommendations of the OAU. All states should first respond to the appeal of the organization to refrain from interfering in the domestic affairs of the Congo. By doing so, they will create conditions which would assist the organization in bringing about peace and national reconciliation in the Congo and end the senseless slaughter which is taking place. My government has already proposed that the Congo question be again discussed by an extraordinary session of the OAU Council of Ministers. It is our hope that this special meeting of the Council of Ministers of the Organization of African Unity, there will emerge a solution which will, which will contribute effectively towards the early restoration of peace and to the establishment of those conditions necessary for the orderly government and development of the Congo in accordance with the express wishes of the people. All that we ask now is for nations to refrain from all forms of interference.